Hi. Hi. Hel hello, Jack. Here we are again, then. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this now, Chris. Excellent. It's always the first seven or eight goes that are the trickiest, isn't it? Hang on a minute, love. Mother, could you turn the telly down a bit? I can hardly hear myself think here. Doris, come on, hurry up. I've got the celibate on the Zooms. The celibate from the undertaking. Thank you. Right, off you go, love. Well, it's only a very quick call today, Jack. I'm just checking that you're happy with what I've written for your dad's service. Well, we don't want any God bits in it because dad didn't believe in any of that stuff. Isn't that right, mother? She's nodding. And we're not having Auntie Margaret there because if she shows her face, then mother's likely to lamp her one, aren't you, mother? <laughs> She's nodding. And I've written a poem, aren't I, mother? There she goes again. We call her Churchill, don't we, mother? Jack, Jack, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we've spoken about all of that and I've noted it all down, haven't I? Have you? Have we? Hang on, a last mother. She's nodding, she isn't she, Jack? Hi. OK, good. So all I need you to do now is to tell me that you've read the tribute I've written for your dad. Oh, hi. Excellent. And so are you happy for me to go ahead with it on the day? Well, I would be, Chris, but mother's not so keen. My dear, what's the problem? Well, don't take this the wrong way, Chris, but... Mother thinks you talk a bit too posh, don't you, Mother? You think nobody will understand what she's saying on the day, don't you, Mother? Is she nodding? No. She's giving me daggers for telling you that. Don't matter, Mother. Chris won't mind. You'll have heard it all by the time you get to your age, won't you, Chris? Anyway, don't worry, cos I've got a plan. Really? I can't wait to hear it. Well, Kath, down at the funeral home, she said that in real life, you're an actress and you've been on Emmerdale. Is that right, Chris? <laughs> yes, that's, that's right, Jack. I've asked Kath on several occasions not to mention it to people, but she seems to have forgotten again. Oh, don't be embarrassed. To be honest, we do prefer Corrie in this house, but you have to be a really very good actor to get on there, don't you? But anyway, what we were thinking was that since you're an actor, you can speak in all sorts of accents, can't you? Are you going to ask me to deliver your dad's tribute in a northern accent? Well, we were hoping for a proper Yorkshire accent, but if General Northern's all you can manage... What do you reckon, Mother? Doris? Will General Northern do? Hang on a minute, Chris, she's thinking. You can always tell when she's thinking because her head doesn't move. All right, I'll ask her. She wonders if you could read some of it down the zooms in your Emmerdale voice so she can hear what it sounds like. Yes, all right. Just a second, let me see. <clears throat> Herbert John Petty was a man gifted with a great many fine traits. Tolerance, forbearance and patience being just three on his very extensive list of attributes. We can't know for sure, but we can probably surmise that these particular three attributes were the ones that Herbert most grateful for during his lifetime. Mm. I'm sorry, Chris, but mother's shaking her head. She said you sound posher than you normally talk. That's because, Jack, in Emmerdale, I played a very fancy barrister. Oh, right. Look, I'll tell you what, I can drop a few H's, flatten a few U's, I'll even go at rolling my R's, but I'm sorry, Jack, I'm not going to attempt an entire 15-minute eulogy in a Yorkshire accent. What does your mother think about that? Did you hear that, mother? Yeah, well, that'll be why Corrie said no, then. Oh, she's thinking again. 
I know. That poem I wrote, it's only short. Maybe you could manage that if I showed you how to say it properly. Oh, I don't know, Jack. You haven't sent it to me yet, and I need to see it. I've got it here. I can read it to you. Mother, I'm reading the poem. Put your mops on. Doris. She's not heard it, Chris, and she wants it to be a surprise on the day. How lovely. Here we go, then. Herbert John Petty, my dear old dad, your kid is right sad and feels really bad. Herbert John Petty, now you are dead. My mother misses you there in the bed. But Herbert John Petty, you were sometimes a git, like the time mother saw you feel Auntie Margaret's tit. But don't worry, Dad. That's in the past now. Mother forgives you, but not that old cow. Rest in peace, Dad. The end. What do you reckon, Chris? Do you think you can manage that? Oh, oh, sorry, Chris. Mother's just farted and is pointing to the upstairs. So um, I'll leave you to think on that, shall I? <laughs> Bye then. Fucking Corrie.